Now the part I think most people have been waiting for, anti-law. Let's go into anti-law at low level or sort of entry level law. Then we'll talk about intermediate level law. And then finally, high level law. What you can expect to see and what you should do about it. Low level laws tend to use Dragon Tail as a mixer and Flip Kicks as your mid. Your, your quintessential three bar law. Thing is, is that Dragon Tail is, of course, seeable and very, very punishable. You, can do, you should try and do Delayed Hop Kick. Yeah. This character shouldn't have a really damaging um, explosive low like this. One of his weaknesses is meant to be comebacks. I think this is a this is a move that they honestly should think about, especially since we play mostly in an online environment. It's just something that's irritating to deal with and completely changes what the character is about. It's slow, but it's not that slow. 26 frames, like if you have three or four frames of delay, this might slip through. But yeah, you're probably gonna see this at green ranks a lot. Watch out for it, be ready for it, they're gonna throw it out. Even at high level, they might throw this out sometimes, just because you're not expecting it. But low level players, you should be expecting it. Parry Junkyard, because uh, low level players aren't gonna be using this as a way to enforce mental frame advantage, they're just gonna be using it because mid-low, so parry it every time. Something I forgot to mention, his down forward one leads into his 10 hit combo. This is actually a pretty good round ender, especially because this is a combo, and it's a mid-low, and it's quite fast, right? But that makes it predictable, right? So at the end of a round, you, th you see Law run up to you with down forward one. Be ready with that low parry. Be ready. Other moves I should be looking to parry at the end of a round, up forward one three. Bit harder to catch, it's quite fast, right? But watch out for it. Watch out for it. Round, round ender. Low parry it. Parry this string. God, if you ever see down forward three, just just low parry. This is this is a pure knowledge check. And things you should be launch punishing. While standing two minus 18, a bit of pushback though. Down two three, launch punish. Forward forward three. Yeah, low level players will be will be rinsing this. Especially maybe from DSS. The Tekken Revolution classic. Also minus 18, launch punish it. Back one two is minus 14, but if you think he's gonna finish the string, maybe he'll just block. The string ender is also minus 14. If you wanna be a nerd, you can sidestep left. All right, there you go. And that's about it. Those are the things you should really watch out for at low level. The lore classic, the green rank lore classic is this. Set setups like this, right? And just launch punish him. One, two, three, to down two. At an intermediate level, they'll start to be learning how to use DSS and they'll try to start using it in pressure strings, particularly 4-3, yeah? At an intermediate level, like you're getting into yellow, orange, red ranks now, right? They'll cancel into DSS, they'll interrupt your attempts to uh, counter poke him from 4-3. And because this, because 4-3 is, um, you know, count it launcher, that's pretty damn strong, right? Right? 4-3 doesn't jail anymore, so the pressure from it is not really real. But your attempts to punish him might get might get snuffed out because the, the recovery is so low. See? See? You will, at any level, be occasionally slip in some 4-3 pressure. But as I said, none of the mids from uh, DSS are safe. Oh yeah, I should be able to punish that. Minus 14, right? Law himself can greatly punish that. And generally, uh, DSS is quite steppable as well. To the right, yeah? He doesn't have a good safe mid to keep you in check. Sorry, you're right, actually. I made a boo-boo there. He does have a safe mid from, from uh, DSS, which is this. And this is actually pretty good now because count hit combo. This is his best mid from DSS. You'll see a lot of players use this or this, but these are very unsafe. He also has one inch punch, which is actually not just safe, but also plus. Yeah, but yeah, it's pathetic range, right? And really high whiff recovery. 
You only ever really want to use this at the wall. Another thing that really in like makes DSS a lot less scary is that every single DSS throw can be broken with two. When he tries to go for a throw mix up from DSS, doesn't matter what he's trying to do, he can break with a two. 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 So at mid-level play, watch out for four three. Try to duck it, break the DSS throws, punish slide optimally. Intermediate level laws will be using slide a lot more. And generally the way you punish slide is you block it, float it, you block it, float it with like a while standing four, and then yeah, you do your combo from there. Like certain characters like Steve, of course, they don't have a while standing four, use while standing one, but block it, float it, block it, float it, screw it. And then uh, take law to the wall. And yeah, watch for his command throw. Yeah, they'll be using this too. It's a 1 plus 2 break, can be buffered, but it's still a bit telegraphed. Better law players will be mixing it up, mixing it up or at least trying to catch you off your feet with 4, 4, 2 plus 3. Right, but that has really bad range as you can see. And yeah, if, if law lands this on you, it can be like... It can be, you know, round over potentially. Let's talk about high level law. What you can expect to see when you get something like purples, blues, uh, Tekken gods, that kind of like advanced level. It's interesting. At a low level, t law is incredibly unsafe, you know. Minus 17, minus 37, minus 15. People think of law as unsafe, but actually at, at higher ranks, he's, a, he's known as being able to pressure you quite safely. He has very compact poking. One, two, one, two, three, down forward one. Down back three, which is best low poke, is only minus 12, yeah? So only Akuma uh, can launch punish that, and even then he needs meter. Yeah, you gotta sidestep one, two, and down forward, forward one to the right, but like forward one plus two, you gotta step to the left. So he's quite hard to step as well. He can play very safely, very compactly. His keep out is strong, so he's hard to get in on. When he does need to make mix-ups, when he is at a life deficit, he can throw in the occasional, like, you know, sporadic uh, mix up. He'll be like poking away, down forward one, down forward back four, slide away, slide, right? Shift away, slide. Generally, how you want to approach the law matchup at like competitive level is play slow. Play really patient. Be a massive turtle against law. His weakness is approach and comebacks. You want to capitalize on that by keeping it in the mid range and making it hard for him to get in. When he needs to start taking that life back, when he's, when he's at a life deficit, he needs to start taking risks with slides and while standing twos. And yeah, his mix-ups are pretty strong, but they're also risk. Out of all the slidey slide characters, Law, Flamboyant Law, and Arabic Law, uh, out of all of them, he has the weakest um, high crush moves. Law does have generic down four, or with him it's generic down three plus four. He does have uh, Banana Peel, which is actually a bit underrated, I think, because it's fast and knocks down on, on counter hit. But as you saw, it's also minus 15, so very, very risky. And down 1-3 is okay now. 1-2, down forward 1. You can also throw in the occasional down 1. It's quite hard to backdash now. Leaves you at plus 2. And if you saw them throwing out a string, it's counter hit confirmable into down 1-3. That's something they changed in Season 3, allowing you to count hit confirm from down 1 into down 1-3. But none of these are as good as like Shaheen's down 3 or uh, Lee's down 3. His high crush is okay. You can take a few down 1s. You can take a few banana peel. His new move does high crush and it's a mid, but some matchups, you can't use it really because it's minus 13. Like Feng can punish this pretty consistently. It's useful in some matchups about which way to step law. It can be kind of tricky to step law. Generally, you want to step him to the right. That's the way you step one, two, and that's the way you step down forward one. Be careful with one, two, three. I'm a bit late on my punish. He can actually get floated out. Because he's airborne after um, between one, two, and three. Generally, it's not good for law, because as you saw, he can get floated. It also occasionally works in his favor. Like there, you see? Like, if you try to launch him with a traditional launch, he just gets floated and you don't get your combo, which is annoying, right? Generally, though, generally, though, he ends up getting floated. And that's not great. When he's poking around, you generally want to sidestep, right? But bear in mind that, like, 
His main way to get into mix-ups is Dragon Hammer. You can't sidestep to this to the right. You have to sidestep it to the left. Yeah. As mentioned with back one, two, two, you, you sidestep the last hit of that to the left. And in back turns, if he's going into back turn like on block, the main things you've got to worry about are down four, back turn down four, and back turn um, up kick. And sort of the option select to catch both of those, if the back turn transition caught you off guard, is sidestep left into low parry. There we go. And this should also be... Yeah, see, it should also be that. There you go. Probably an easier way of dealing with this, I think you're right, is just side walk left. Let's see. That's a bit of a greater commitment, but yeah, keep it simple. Forget what I said, just sidewalk left. Yeah, if you really want to disengage, you can also down jab, that works. If you're if you're just like on point with your down jab, just mashing it out, fine. But be careful, because if you're a little bit hesitant, and you're like a frame out, you will get up kicked. Generally, to round that up, sidestep Lord to the right when he's poking, sidestep him to the left when he's in back turns, and with back one, two, two. Take advantage of his weak approach and his inability to snowball damage by playing very turtly against him. Law is an aggressive counter hit based character, so don't give him what he wants by pushing too many buttons. And likewise, even when you get in his face, he has strong tools like parry to discourage too many buttons. Generally, people always say that like Steve is weak against Law because, ah oh, yeah, when you're jabbing around, you can get punch parry, you can get down two, three, all that stuff. I don't agree. I think when it comes to a matter of patience and keep out, what I, what I do when I'm Steve, I just keep my distance around here and I make it hell for Law to get in with me with a liberal application of back one, a few down forward twos, make it really hard for him to get in on me. When he does get in on me, I try to disengage and look for an opportunity to sidestep right. But generally, I try to get disengage. Law hates turtles. He struggles to open them up. He has to take big risks to open them up. Characters like Steve and Brian, on, I think, because they are very good at keep out, can give Law trouble. Interestingly, Law himself is quite good at keep out. Law against Law is this annoying matchup where the, the strength of the character works against their weakness. And it's like this game of Rochambeau. It's really turtly and annoying. Um, and that's, that's basically law in a nutshell.